Step aside now. Another man wants to take over. You don't know what you got. So now it's time to lose it. Step aside. Let me show you something about your woman. Hello, this is Bonnie B. Right now I'm doing that music channeling for the Star Sea of Lemira. Lemira, this is your full moon energy coming up on the 28th. The Lord wants me to give you brief information on what's going on with you. Where you are on your spiritual journey, what you need to do for this full moon coming up. And right now it feels like you are kind of in a celebratory energy. And you're feeling a vibe. And you want this vibe to keep. It's a good vibe. Okay, yeah. Alright, let's see what this has to do. Because before that, I was hearing, let me step aside, let a good man show you how to treat your woman. So, I look at him, Jesus. We come before the throne of Christ, asking for your permission to give us the star seed energy. The star sign of the mirror. Father God, we ask that you show us the five images that the mirror needs to be aware of coming up in the next five days. Okay? This energy is for the full moon energy, and these are the five cards that are going to affect you in the mirror. Okay. One, two, three, four, out of five. Okay, Lamero. You are no longer, your energy is opening with you no longer dealing with the betrayal. More the backstabbing. This is done. You're healing. Now, the mirror in the second position of what's affecting your hearing, healing, it's affected. You are displaying a sneaky energy, but you must be careful of who you are listening to. Okay. Be careful. You don't want to listen to anybody in any low vibrational energies. For they can have a direct effect upon what God wants to do in your life. So the mirror doing this new moon energy. Spirit of God says beware of the company that you keep. Now that you have released this negative energy of backstabbing and betrayal. Spirit of God says you need to seek some wise counsel. You need to go within, talk to the Spirit of God, and seek wise counsel. Seek good advice. Seek positive energy. When I am lost, when I am cross, she will be my salvation. When I feel alone, I know where to go. She'll be my inspiration. So, she'll put it back together. She gives you time. And she shows off her mind. When she talks of love, 
God's giving you a wise counsel. Okay? God is giving you a wise counsel. He's giving you somebody who is giving you good advice. And what's not known is that you want to have the victory in your communication. She told you she's good without you, huh? When things go wrong, her faith is strong. She won't doubt you. you you're on your knees and you've been praying, huh? Well, the mirror, there's some positive energy that's not known. So take this chance. And what is your outcome? You will be given options. And in these options, God wants you to balance your work and your play. Okay? So we're going to get into your energies and we're going to see exactly what these messages are that God wants you to receive from this reading for your star seed energy going into the moon energy for the month for the date of the 28th of March your opening energy your inspiration. So I'm going to stick it out in my spirit. A weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction. A melodramatic reaction. So by you walking away someone probably acted a fool and had a melodramatic scene for you to endure in your walking away. And it probably perplexed you a little bit because you're like, oh, okay. But you're being a little sneaky about the way that you're doing it. Because this was the Five of Swords. And it says, an unwise choice. There's a better way. That will make you happier. Avoid people. Who lack integrity. Or. Who have. Questionable. Motives. Choices. Now that you're walking away. You're being presented with some choices. But God wants you to seek wise counsel during this time, Lemira. Because God says, Unity with a spiritually minded community. The divine for help and trust the answers that will come. Compare traditional method with new ideas to see which it's the best for you. So this is a time during your new beginning of a cycle. Because when you come to the end of backstabbing and betrayal. And you decide that you no longer have that in your life. And God gives you a new opportunity. With it comes new choices. Okay. Now. <clears throat> In this energy right here, God wants you to seek wise counsel. He does not want you to be sneaky. Okay? He wants you to seek wise counsel, spiritually minded. Because for every action, there's an equal reaction. And there are consequences for the decisions that you make. And although 
we like our decisions that we get to make ourselves, when we fail to understand the lessons that are learned, see all them sewers back there? They're waiting on them. So God is saying to you, before those sewers start dropping on you, seek wise counsel. And what you don't know that God has in store for this whole situation is that there is a seven of wands. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely and then communicate too much going on right now stress caused by many positive opportunities See, so because you walked away from the situation you are being stressed by what you are now being offered by the universe all of these are opportunities just like all of these are choices and this is your outcome see how they go hand in hand this is your outcome God wants you to balance these opportunities that you are getting he wants you to balance them Number two, a pinnacle says, working too hard on multiple jobs. The need to bring balance and fun into your life. Juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget. So God is telling you that make a choice. Make a choice. Why are you juggling? It's time to make a decision. You know? Because you have a desire to Stand up for what you believe in because if you don't stand for something then you fall for anything. And this is the eight of wands. So you got the seven and the eight of wands. So not only are you standing up for it, but you are standing proudly in your energy. You've got strength in this. But you gotta be ready. You gotta make a choice, baby. You have to make a choice. You have a lot of positive things that are coming at you. And opportunities that are all positive things that God wants to give you. But in these positive opportunities that God is going to give you, you are going to have to make a decision. Okay? Seek wise counsel. As you move forward. Mm -hmm. Don't get under. Mm -hmm. This will cost you. Seek wise counsel. Okay. Be blessed, Lamar. You're going in the right direction because you got the Ten of Swords in the reverse for open energy. So that's the beginning of new things. No more betrayal. Unless you make the wrong decision here. And you'll go back. See all the swords walking away from you. They want to come back. Okay. So be ready. And your decisions. 
make a choice. Seek wise counsel, but make a choice. Okay? This is Jebel. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. This will cost you in the end if you don't make a choice. Okay. So, my Lamira, be blessed, my beloved. And this is your spiritual update and check in for the next new moon. So you know what you need to manifest and what you need to do. Just seek wise counsel because you're going in the right direction. So, this is your Star Seed spiritual update, the Star Seed of the Mirror. Until it's time to come and visit me again, here at the Daily Dose, your spiritual Bible. Okay? Spiritual night, our body be. It's all me. Okay. Be blessed, my beloved. You know that the Spirit of God covers the multitude of sins. The blood of Jesus is real. And walk in the belief that God is true to His word. Okay. Be blessed, my beloved. Just down to see me again. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and come on back. We'll do more check-ins. Be blessed, my Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Got one thing. The 28th of March. New moon manifestation time. Okay? So, eat. Meditate. Pray, manifest, be blessed.